it is time to meal prep. The key is once you get to the point where all of the foods are cooked and you're ready to start portioning, that is where you need the meal plan. What's up YouTube? Why am I so excited? Because it is time to meal prep and I just took you guys through part one of my grocery store vlog and I have not one, not two, not three, not four, five protein sources to prep today. I have one, two, three, three carb sources, bunch of veggies. I'm gonna show you guys all kinds of cool stuff. So let's get started. Alright guys, the first rule of meal prep is make sure you eat something before you meal prep. I repeat, make sure you eat something before you meal prep. The second rule of meal prep is chew gum. I always chew gum when I'm cooking. Why? Because you're going to want to eat the stuff and when you're minty and fresh, you're not gonna wanna do that. So pardon me if I'm chewing during this video. I'll do my best to not make it obnoxious. The mintiness really helps me. But other than those two things, the first thing you wanna do whenever you meal prep, the first thing when you walk into the kitchen is you want to, number one, preheat the oven. Okay, oven's being preheated to 350 degrees. The next thing you wanna do immediately, as soon as you get into the kitchen, is you wanna cook your rice. Now. If you're not half Asian like me, you may not have a rice cooker. If you do not have a rice cooker, you want to invest in one. You can see there is literally one button that says cook. It's two pieces. So all we need to do is focus on cooking the rice. I'm gonna show you exactly what to put in here. So the trick to know if you have enough rice is to do the knuckle test. You wanna make sure you put up enough water up to this line on your middle finger and you're all set. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the salmon. I got the rice cooking, the oven's preheated. I get these parchment sheets of paper. I prefer parchment to spraying um, a pan with olive oil for a lot of reasons. Parchment paper stuff, like nothing sticks to it and it's just super awesome. The thing I love about it is I don't have to add any extra oils. It's really nice. It's already pre-cut, so all I need to do is place it down and I'm going to prep the salmon. And for salmon, I like to keep my seasoning extremely simple. I don't like to do anything over complicated just because it tastes so darn good on its own. A little bit of garlic powder, actually, a lot bit of garlic powder, I love garlic. Crushed red pepper, I like spice. Touch of sea salt, and some fresh black pepper. And now I'm just going to top it off with some fresh limes. Three hundred fifty degrees for about 20, 30 minutes. and prep my fingerling potatoes. Now when prepping my Brussels sprouts, what I like to do is I like to do it a certain way. So I'm going to cut the bottom off and I like to cut them in half as such and I like to just take them and put them on the tray but when I put them on the tray, I like to put that side down. So I'm gonna lightly spray this with Cassandrinos olive oil. This is my favorite olive oil. You can check this link out here, promo code Gage Roll for 10% off. I'm putting this in a misto, and a misto is something that allows you to aerate your oils. I'm going to just spread out the Brussels sprouts. I like to try to keep this piece down. And I'm only using a little bit, it's a light spray. I am not counting this in my macros. So you can use any seasoning you like. 
Don't mean to get anyone super excited, but I really like the seasoning. I do have it from Trader Joe's. I need to have this on my food. So now we're gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. This is for those of you who want some plant-based options. I'm gonna be putting it here on a piece of paper towel. I'm gonna use some more paper towels on top to pat it dry. I have here one quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of mirin, about a tablespoon of Sri Rasha, and I'm using one packet of this whole earth sweetener. Let's just steam this up really good. And last but not least, I am literally adding a pinch, a literal pinch of xanthan gum. So before I put any of my tofu on the tray, I'm going to just gently dip it in the sauce. All right, so the next thing we are doing is we are gonna cook the plantains. So I'm taking the entire thing and I'm going to peel them both. Now, I like to cut the plantains on an angle like this because it allows me to get a little bit more surface area when I cook them. So I'm gonna continue cooking them and setting them aside until I got them all done. So the tofu just came out the oven. It's been in there for about 30 minutes and I just wanted to show you how awesome parchment paper is because literally nothing sticks to it and the texture turns out amazing. It's like nice and crispy. All of the flavor is retained. I'm just turn it over so you guys can see. So this is a really nice reason why you wanna use parchment paper when doing this, but I have a whole awesome batch. It smells absolutely amazing. I broke my own rule. I took the gum out my mouth because I had to try this. And I'm not a vegan, I'm not a vegetarian, but I would eat this. I would eat this as part of like my normal meal prep. This tofu is really, really, it's savory. It's yummy, it's delicious. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys a fun little twist on my rice. I cooked a whole batch of white rice in my rice cooker, and I'm going to make some cilantro, lime, jalapeno seasonings to my rice, and then I'm going to show you guys the actual portioning portion of the meal prep. All right, so what you guys can see is I cooked a lot of different things and I staged them on some china plates because I'm about to portion out everything. My, my potatoes, plantains, and rice. So I have three different carb sources. I have my Brussels sprouts there. I have my salmon here. I have my tofu here. I also have my rotisserie chicken, which is in the fridge right here so I'm gonna grab that you can see how like the limes turn like this kind of weird olivey green I'm gonna take these off I'm not I don't need it for the garnish I just kind of wanted it for the flavor now I have a ton of these meal prep containers so essentially what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna show you guys an example because your portions your macros are gonna depend on your goals so the first thing I did was I turned it on. Now I'm gonna place this on here. Always wanna make sure that you tear it. And now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh out my salmon portion. I need four ounces for my goals. All right, so we're at 3.9. I'm going to leave that be. Now I'm going to add my rice to it. So I'm going to hit tear again, and there's a couple ways I can do the rice. I can either weigh it out in my measuring cup or I can weigh it out here on the scale. So I'm going to be adding four ounces of my jalapeno cilantro rice. So you can see this is about what a good portion for a meal is, like such. So now what I can do for some variety, guys, is I can tear it out again. 
I'm not going to show you guys these macros just because it is going to depend very specifically on your goals and I do not want you guys to copy my macros because what works for me is not necessarily going to work for you. I'm just going to give you an example of how I eat just so you can see, but I'm not gonna show you guys my specific macros because that's what custom meal plans are for if you wanna know exact meals and whatnot, um, exact macros, you can check them out yourself. So here I have another four ounces, but instead I am going to be working with some plantains. Now these are much more carb dense so I only get two ounces of these. Ah, 2.0, all right. So just so you guys can see for a little bit of variety here. These potatoes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the breakfast sausages fresh and I'm just going to throw these into the skillet in the morning. So it's always nice to have some things already pre-cooked. Now these foods will last in the fridge for about a good three, four days. Thank you guys for watching this video. The key is once you get to the point where all of the foods are cooked and you're ready to start portioning, that is where you need the meal plan. That is where you need to know what portions you should be following. And if you need help with that, I encourage you guys to go to gagegirltraining.com, check it out. You can fill out a detailed questionnaire and tell us which foods you like, which foods you don't like, what, and we will create a custom meal plan for you. Now, if you do go with this option, the order doesn't go in until you submit your payment. So just because you submit the questionnaire, it's not going to be reviewed and the meal plan won't be made for you until the payment is processed and then you'll get your custom meal plan within 10 business days. So it's a great option if you need some variety, if you just need some structure because you can cook all the foods, you can go through everything, but the key is knowing what portions work for you, your goals, and your needs. Whether you have been injured, whether you have a lot of weight to lose, a little bit of weight to lose, whether you're trying to gain muscle, lose, like whatever it is, you guys, your goals can be reached with Gay Girl Training. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.